Hello and welcome to another episode of Katie the Science Lady. I'm Mrs. Jacobson and today's topic is all about cladograms. So let's learn together. Okay, so you've noticed that we're talking about cladograms today. These are graphic organizers that are what we kind of construct in order to be able to see similarities and differences between organisms, species, groups of organisms, and so on. So I set it up like a timeline. So I have my more ancient species towards the bottom and my more modern species towards the top. Now, this is basically saying that time is moving this direction. So things that are or have common ancestry are going to be kind of further back this way, or this would be the common ancestor kind of way down at the bottom here. And then as time goes on, evolution occurs causing branches to appear. So for example, a branch may appear there. And then we have um, time keeps moving on, we have another branch appear there. So that's how we're going to construct this cladogram. I have several different um, kind of classes of organisms I'm going to put in my cladogram today, reptiles, birds, rodents, fish, primates, and amphibians. So I'm going to put all of those into this cladogram based on some shared characteristics. Now you've noticed I've put at the bottom here eukaryotes. They are all eukaryotes. In addition to that, they are all vertebrates. So I'm going to put that before this node here. Because they're all eukaryotes and they're all vertebrates, nothing is going to be kind of separating them from each other. So the next thing I need to do is figure out which is kind of least like the others. And if I look at it, I think about, okay, how many arms and legs do these have? Um, amphibians, like a frog, has four legs or four arms. Primates have four. Fish have a flipper or a fin. Rodents have four arms or legs. Birds um, have wings and legs. Reptiles have usually four arms or legs. So I'm going to go ahead and put four legs here or four limbs, I should say, here, because that's going to separate fish from the rest of our timeline. So now I have fish, they're eukaryotes and vertebrates, but they don't have four limbs because they've diverged from our timeline before four limbs. So now I've got fish checked off my list. Yes, done. Then from there, I think, okay, what similarities do I have between reptiles, birds, rodents, primates, amphibians? Is there anything that can be left off here? And the answer is that amphibians do not have an amniotic egg. So I'm going to go ahead and create a line here for amphibians. And then further on, I'm going to put amniotic egg. So now if I look at this, I say, okay, fish, they're eukaryotes and they have vertebrae. That's true. They do not have four limbs. Amphibians have four limbs. They're eukaryotes and they have vertebrae, but they don't have an amniotic egg. So we're going to continue creating this uh, cladogram here, and then I'll show you how to kind of deconstruct it as well. So amniotic egg, they all have that. Now we're going to diverge from the timeline here. Some of these have eggshells, and eggshells are components of bird eggs and reptile eggs. So they have that in common. And then our last characteristic that will help us split our final two categories here are organisms that have hair or fur. And those would be our primates and our rodents. So we've gotten more and more specific as we've gone along here. Now I want to show us how to read this a little bit. I'm going to grab a different color of marker so we can kind of draw along these lines. If I'm trying to figure out what characteristics rodents have, for example, I need to draw a line or kind of trace all the way up to where I've literally written rodents. So I'm going to trace along this line here. So rodents, whatever I pass through will be a characteristic. So if I start at the bottom, 
Rodents are eukaryotes. They have vertebrae. That's correct. They have four limbs. Yes, they do. They have amniotic eggs. Yes, they do. And they have hair or fur. So rodents have all of these characteristics going backwards kind of on the timeline here. That's how you figure out what they have um, in common. Now primates, they share all those characteristics as well because you have to go through all of those characteristics in order to reach where you wrote primate. Now we know rodents and primates are different as well, so we could have put something else here at this node that separated rodents from primates specifically, but we don't need to do that today. If we need to figure out which are most closely related to something else, like for example, what is most closely related to birds? Now, we do this by kind of traveling backwards. From birds, where is the cl next closest um, physical written word? We look down here, eggshells. Now, reptiles share that characteristic with birds, and they're the closest on this cladogram. So reptiles are most closely related to birds because they have all the same characteristics, and they're kind of grouped close on the cladogram. If I wanted to know what was most closely related to primates, I wouldn't say fish. So if I look here, fish, they only are eukaryotes with vertebrae. Primates also have four limbs, amniotic eggs, and hair or fur. So they are not closely related because they're separated by characteristics and space on our cladogram. So one of the easiest things to do is just kind of measure the distance with your eye and see which is most literally close on the cladogram for it to be closely related. The last thing I want to show us is how to figure out what um, certain species or groups have in common with each other. So if I look here and I say, okay, I want to know what rodents and birds share. What characteristics do they have in common? I will go down here and I'm going to start again. I'll go to birds first. Birds are eukaryotes with vertebrae. They have four limbs. They have amniotic eggs. And they have eggshells. So they have those four. One, two, three, and four. Now, if I go up to rodents, I'm going to go through and do the same thing and place another dot if a rodent has it in common. Rodents are eukaryotes with vertebrae. They have four limbs. They have amniotic eggs. Now, they don't have eggshells. I'm not going that way. That will not take me to rodents. I can't get all the way here and jump over. I have to keep going straight. Rodents also have hair or fur. Now, it needs two dots in order to have these things in common. So, eggshells... They don't have those in common. Hair or fur, those aren't in common. But an amniotic egg, four limbs, eukaryotes with vertebrae, birds and rodents have those things in common. So you can do that again by tracing, starting at the bottom of our quote unquote timeline and tracing your way to that specific name. Thanks for watching.